Okay, so the piece uh, trumpet in my chest, um, you know, titling a piece has to be one of the most difficult things. You know, how to put words to something that is inherently uh, visual is a difficult thing. But it does add a, a different element to a work that then leads the viewer to uh, think in a certain way, which is one of the reasons I don't like titling work. But um, Trumpet in My Chest came about for two reasons. One is uh, that I find the repetitive marks that are, uh, that are involved in the, in the representation of a rib cage, those repetitive marks are very important to me over my work, whether it was the uh, column series or whether it was fish bones or whether it was the human skeletal form, that, that, uh, you know, that type of mark making, the slashes, um, is something that just is viscerally uh, uh, seems seems to be the basic marks that humans make. You know, you make lines, repetitive lines, and to me, that's that's sort of um, a basic human thing we all share. Uh, so, two things that both have that are the rib cage and a trumpet. The valves of a trumpet, to me, intertwined with the 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 rest of the instrument. Um, are very similar to what happens in the human body with internal organs uh, juxtaposed with with the skeletal system. So, um, on a physical and representational way, that has a similarity to me. So, um, beyond that, uh, in a more metaphorical way, trumpet in my chest can refer to uh, you know me as a vocalist. I'm, I'm making sort of an autobiographical statement about you know my instrument is my voice and my voice comes from my chest you know my lungs and my diaphragm are what enable my throat to do what it does without the air you don't get there so uh, you know there's a, a, a certain thing about having also the music uh, caught up inside you a, a, a rib cage is like a, a prison of, of sorts it's a place where things are kept safe or kept hidden or kept contained and so to have a trumpet represent music uh, being contained within inside the vessel of uh, the chest is uh, something that, that you know I'm interested in. The um, uh, it also has a, a little bit of a poetic sound to it to me, and, and, and evokes something that's a little bit mysterious. And I think great beauty, whether it's in a woman or a landscape or a painting, has an element of mystery. And you know, maintaining that and, and feeding that element mystery is part of maintaining the beauty of any uh, thought process or physical entity.